Hello and welcome to the ATM tutorial of the Swift programming tutorial series and what we're going to look at is the function return statement. Return statements are laid to end a function and return a value to the location the function was called. Take this simple math example that we're going to implement that allows us to send two numbers to a function, add them together and then returns it. It doesn't print line or anything like that within the function, we'll be doing that ourselves because obviously you might not want to print line, just maybe you just want to get a value and that's usually what you want to do. So the general way is to put the keyword func, so because it's a function, then you put print function or whatever your function name is. Inside I'm going to put my parameter, so number one int, number two, Int, and then afterwards you have to specify the return type basically the type of data that the function is going to return so you, I have to put dash greater than and then the data type as it is an integer because I'm going to multiply these two numbers together I'm going to put int so, and now we can go ahead and implement our function you might notice it's moaning that missing return in a function expected to, to return in if you have a function and you have a return type, you have to return, you can't not return. So you have to do return and then whatever you want to return on for this, we're just going to put number one times by number two, that is it. And now we can just call this and we'll call it within the print line. So we'll do print function, we'll specify two numbers, five and six, so we'll get the result of 30 run it and we get the result of 30 but if we were to just put this on its own and run it it will still run fine obviously nothing printing but it calls this function gets a value back but nothing's actually done with it but this is still valid because it is still calling the function the return top is important because obviously you don't want to put something like double in there if you're not returning a double likewise you don't want to put something like int in there if maybe if you're doing some sort of division most likely if you're doing division you'll probably want it in decimals you might want the other integer but it, just something to bear in mind so yeah that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we're going to look at classes if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at somnasystem.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via youtube all the required links for source code will also be in the description thank you thank you for watching and i hope you have a nice day